I'm going to give you guys another example. Um, I had a lady come to me. She was really addicted to cocaine. She um, was told during the reading that you are being pestered because of the substance of choice that you are continuously using. And your frequency is low and it's time to shift and move into a higher vibration. More, more so, start moving in this direction, right? And she had a difficult upbringing and her mind was really locked there and she was coping by using the drugs, the alcohol and the cocaine to um, help cope, right? Numb, to help detach. So it, she heard the guidance, she stopped the cocaine, she stopped the alcohol. It's probably about a month, month and a half goes by. And she sends me a picture with a bruise on her ankle and I think up her leg and it was, it was pretty big. And she said that happened in the middle of the night. I said, what is it that you are doing? What is it? Have you done? What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that is dropping your frequency to be a match for that. Well, I touched cocaine last night. So I said, she goes, but it was just a couple lines. It doesn't matter. Don't touch that shit. Okay. So she got the memo again. So you have to think like, I learned physically. Okay, you touch alcohol, you touch these things. Now it's going to affect you physically. You're going to get sick. Kristen, so don't touch it. Other people are learning vibrationally, energetically, and she learned, don't even look at it. Don't, don't look at it, don't touch it. So she learned from that. Um, and, you know, it was pretty immediate response, I'd say. Hello, hello. We have a very interesting topic that we're going to be uh, chatting about today here live in my group through Facebook called Intuitive Angel Messages. Um, we're going to be talking about why is spirit pestering you? Why are you being pestered? Why are you being haunted? Okay, we call it haunted. I call it pestered. Um, and this, this um, could possibly also um, be something that we think about, whether it is a deceased loved one or um, a soul that hasn't crossed over yet and we don't even know who they are. Or it can also, we can transfer this energy over to uh, uh, energy that is uh, not what we recognize or even energy that um, we could say is, uh, you know, alien in nature. Okay. So it doesn't really matter, uh, specifically what the energy is, but we're going to be talking about why is energy pestering you? All right. So here we have it. I'm just going to open this up on my laptop now so I can see everyone's comments. And I also have a really special announcement for those of you who check out my business page, uh, Kristen Davies through Facebook, you will have noticed that there is a post on my business page of what is coming up this Monday. Okay. So this Monday, um, there is going to be the beginning of a flash sale for the Your Starseed Origins course, which is coming up. Uh, the course is coming September 15th until the 22nd. Uh, if you feel as though that's not going to suit you or that you're too busy, just remember that you can join in on this course 
24 hours a day whenever you'd like to participate, to catch up on previous material that you've missed. It will all be saved. Also, all course material is emailed to every single student and we have students that join us from all over the world. So we, myself and medium Paul Milgis have run this course um, a few months uh, previously and we are going to be running it again. So what is your Starseed Origins plus so much more? We delve into so much more, okay? Um, there's going to be a flash sale coming this Monday from August 22nd until the 27th. So for five days, uh, this will be a flash sale of 20% off. So if you've been thinking about uh, joining in on a course to learn more about ET energy, um, star seeds, your star seed uh, origins, this is going to be 20% off of $155 US. And to learn more, you can go to my website, kristendaviesmedium.com. And again, this is going to be uh, coming up on Monday, August 22nd, for five days only, okay? Um, myself and Paul are coming on live this Monday in my group <clears throat> through Facebook, Intuitive Angel Messages. And we're going to be talking about how do you recognize another starseed? How do you recognize other star seeds in your life? Okay, so that'll be an interesting topic that we're going to be touching base on. And that will be us coming live at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on uh, Facebook in the group Intuitive Angel Messages. All right, so there we have it. So let's talk about this topic because as I've been channeling and giving messages for almost six years, long time. I've recognized and realized that, um, you know, previously to channeling for people, it was just like, okay, some people, uh, they're just getting haunted. And that was the extent of what I knew. Okay. Some people are getting haunted. Some people aren't. Okay. I wonder why. So as I've been channeling and relaying messages for people during readings, I've uh, received many messages and I've delved into, is there any energy in their home uh, that should or shouldn't be there? That will be one of the main uh, questions. And also my own team and their team will uh, step forward and converse with us as to what we can do about it. So, um, I suppose the importance of this is to educate the masses that hauntings aren't just happening for the sake of it. There's actually um, some reasoning behind it and some reasoning that maybe you haven't thought of. And then also, what can we do about it? Okay, we're not just going to talk about why it's happening, but also what can you do about it? All right, so the first uh, lineup here out of three, okay, and we're going to go through each one, but there's three reasons why one is getting haunted or pestered by energy, whether it is um, a soul that has crossed over that you don't know, whether it's a deceased loved one, which is very very like non-existently rare like for me I have never seen that or whether it is um you know uh, alien in nature or whether it is something that we don't even recognize okay whatever it is it doesn't even matter what it is it's just energy around you bothering you maybe keeping you up at night um draining your energy draining your battery etc whatever it is Okay, so the first reason why is your soul signed up for this experience. And that is a tough pill to swallow, am I right? Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> Nobody. I wouldn't want to hear that either. I remember when I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis long ago before I had had my surgeries. And... In the beginning, it was total pity party, 
victimhood mentality, crying day in and day out for two years. And I remember at the end of two years, I got really kind of tired of feeling sorry for myself and recognized that nobody else really felt that sorry for me. It was kind of like a one man pity party train. So I said to myself, okay, what can I change in this scenario? What can I do to make changes to change this? Okay. There's only one variable here that's going to change. And that's me, <laughs> the way I see it, the way I perceive it. Okay. And, uh, my attitude, my energy, my thought forms. So, um, why, why would a soul sign up for this kind of experience? We're going to tune into energy and we're going to see, um, why it is a soul. And I, and I'm tying it to my own experience, uh, having a physical condition like that, because I recognized years in that my soul signed up for that, to learn and grow from that. Um, it was almost like putting the emergency brake on and then rerouting me onto a totally different path. And I was not happy about it. To say I wasn't happy about it was minuscule. <laughs> I was really not happy about it. Okay, so who's going to take the helm on this one? Okay, so my guardian angel, Agnes, is going to take the helm. Um, so why is it that a soul would sign up to be pestered, haunted, uh, bothered by energy? Why would a person say, yeah, pick me. I want to have this experience on earth, whether you're being pestered once in a while or whether it's constant. Okay, and there's three reasons that we're going to go through. So this is the first one. Your soul agreed to this. Okay, so, okay, let's, let's chat about that. <laughs> She's saying something that um, she said to me previously. So the reason why I'm bringing this topic to the forefront is because I see a lot of posts online um, through the different spiritual groups. And I said to myself, let's bring this to the forefront for those who are ready to hear it, um, a broader perspective as to why one is being haunted. So she wasn't on board for it. <laughs> And, and this is what she's saying right out the gate. First of all, I wasn't on board for this. <laughs> she, was, she wasn't game for this live, okay? But I chose this live to answer questions for those of you that are being pestered by energy and you want a broader perspective. So th that's what she's saying first thing out the gate. She says the reason why she... Uh, wasn't on board for this topic is because it's really important to keep your um, your mindset and your perspective as high vibrational as possible right now. So this is us dipping down and discussing more low vibrational topics, which she's not impressed about. <laughs> but we're going to dive into it in order to give a broader perspective and to help the masses. This is me talking now uh, as to how to, to make things better if we can. Okay. All right. Ready. So the first is why would a soul, why would a person's soul sign up to have an experience to uh, be pestered by spirit or energy? Um, she says that there's many, many reasons. Okay. But we're going to list a few of them. <clears throat> Ready. Okay, she's talking about a rebalancing of energy. Um, if we want to talk about karma, there's a rebalancing uh, of energy going on. And that can't be dismissed. It has to be balanced. However, she'd like to um, <clears throat> say this. As we move forward on earth, we will find less souls, less people uh, signing up for the experience of uh, agreeing, pick me, I want to be uh, having this experience during my incarnation of being haunted because 
uh, we are ascending on earth, okay? We are lifting and raising in frequency. So two things are gonna happen. One, us, uh, the soul that keeps incarnating on earth is going to have the uh, karmic debt balanced for them automatically when we take in more light frequency and we move down this path of ascension. So there won't be any need for balancing karma because karma essentially is going to get transmuted into the light. The second reason is anything low vibrational that is uh, taking energy from our energy, okay, or taking, um, si siphoning our energy, or just bothering us, uh, not allowing us to sleep at night, uh, not allowing us to function uh, like the average person uh, day in and day out. So these, these types of energies are being um, cleared out. She's talking about them being cleared out, okay? And uh, she's talking about not only the planet, but each of us are being, um, she's talking about being, um, uh, there's a lot of transmutation going on. So a lot of the heaviness is being transmuted into the light, okay? That is what ascension, part of ascension is moving forward. We're all lifting in frequency, right? So uh, we will no longer need to balance energy. Okay. All right. Okay. So why are some of the other reasons why one would sign up for an incarnation uh, to uh, have this experience? Okay. She's like, she's talking about there's many, many, many reasons, but these are... These are the main reasons why uh, one would sign up, which is what we just discussed. Okay, so there's, but there are many other reasons. Okay, and and um, here's a question: uh, If our soul signed up for that type of experience, can we opt out while we're having this incarnation, and uh, or ask our team? to move us in a different direction so that we don't constantly have to live this experience. You know, if we said any uh, experience on earth, whether it was me having ulcerative colitis or it was uh, somebody having uh, any other type of issues, whether it was with energy related or physical related or mentally related, it would be like, okay, I just don't want ulcerative colitis anymore. Can I opt out of this? Right? So we're asking, can a person opt out of being pestered by, by, by energy? Um, she is saying yes, it is possible, but it is um, a person by person basis. Okay, so how would we do that? We would simply ask. Okay. Now, uh, there have been moments during my own uh, suffering where I've said there's not much more I can take so I know I'm learning from this but uh, someone needs to shift this make it a bit better because I don't have much more in me you know uh, to during a period where I'm struggling so you can ask for that you can okay you can I remember uh, uh, needing help with sobriety you can ask for backup on that, whatever you're having a problem with in your life, okay? All right, so are we moving to the next? Yes, we are. So the second reason is your energy, your vibration is a vibrational match for that energy around you, okay? Um, or the energy surrounding you. So that, and not, and this isn't everybody, okay? But um, I do recall watching a paranormal program like 15 years ago. It was in, you know, the beginning stages of awakening. And I remember this paranormal team going in to help this family that was being pestered by something low vibrational. 
And the first thing out the gate was they came into their home and it was absolute gong show of a mess. Okay. There was debris everywhere. It was dirty. Um, it was a bit of a hoarding situation. So energetically, that doesn't exactly help to lift and raise one's frequency. So the first thing out the gate was the paranormal investigators um, had someone come in to help them uh, keep uh, clean up the space and then teach them how to keep it clean and tidy. Okay. And the second thing they did was everybody was going into counseling. So what is it that we need to clear? What is it that we need to transmute? And, and I was thinking, this is the first time I've been watching a paranormal program where they're talking about lifting and raising people's frequency. And then it dawned on me as I was sitting there thinking like, why would they get a cleaning company in? And why would they teach them how to keep their home clean? And why would they go into counseling? Well, the only thing that came to me was to help lift their frequency. Why would they help them lift their frequency? Because they'll no longer be a vibrational match to this energy. That was a ding, ding, ding. That was really something for me. And that is the number one thing that I'll hear from the angels over and over is, uh, you know, be observant of your thoughts, see where your thoughts are going, right? If you're going to spew low vibrational stuff all over online and you're going to drag other people's frequency down with you, don't. Just don't. Okay? Because now you're not only just impacting and affecting yourself, but now you're impacting and affecting everyone that reads your comments, that sees your posts. Like really think twice before you set forth and drop everybody else's frequency along with you. And you could just be having a down moment or a hard or bad day, but that doesn't give you the right to drop everybody else's frequency along with you. But it's equally said that um, the people reading your comments, uh, your frequency is your own responsibility too. So if you don't like uh, what other people are posting, you may not want to be a part of that group. You may not want to read the comments under that YouTube video. Or you may not want to comment under somebody else's low vibrational post. So it's equally so. <clears throat> okay, where are we going next with this? So if you're a vibrational match, uh, if you're if you're having a, a difficult time, and and this is tough because there there are all sorts of reasons why your frequency might be dropping and being a, a match to the energy around you. Okay. Um, this is why we hammer it home, why it is so important to lift and raise your vibrational frequency, to observe your own thought forms that you are creating in your mind and whichever ones you do not wish to have circulating in there. You can hand off to your team in your mind or out loud. Okay, here you go. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. <laughs> you can do that all day long. Okay, um, and it's really important that you are aware that you are the manifestors of your realities. Okay, so if you want to manifest a different outcome for yourselves, start right here with your own vibrational frequency within okay um, she's also talking about many of us w drinking using types of drugs okay this can affect your frequency lower lower your frequency also um, um, she's talking about um, lower your inhibitions, making it easier for low vibrational frequency to attach. Okay. But again, I need help with this. Uh, the removal of substances, the removal of any energies around me. Thank you. Okay. So, but again, 
they can remove these frequencies. And this is what I realized during my sessions with individuals. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I want to help people. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I come live and I come live of my own free time to give these lives. So when I'm giving a reading and spirit says, no, we're not going to remove this energy. And I'm like, what? Why aren't you going to remove this energy? Uh, because... And until they shift their own vibrational frequency, there's no point in us removing this frequent, this energy from them. We can remove it, but unless they go within and shift their own frequency, uh, basically this energy will come right back. So um, that was a real like surprise to me that our angels won't just go and remove this type of uh energy from us when we request have a look having a look at our own vibrational frequency is top 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 important importance and you think about okay well energy is pestering you right um and may, okay well maybe i need to uh, work on some inner work and and shift within here my frequency but it's the same thing if you have low vibrational people in your life they're just now in front of you in a seeming body so now these people are taking from you draining your battery uh low vibrational so have a look at the people that are in your life okay and then maybe have a look at the energy that's surrounding you if it's bothering you and then where do we go? We go right here and shift our frequency. Okay, so anything else we want to talk about on that topic? Okay, no, nope, we're going to the next. The last thing that they wanted to talk about was, um, now, and make note of this, that it's not just one of these reasons. It can actually be a pairing up or a couple of these reasons why one is getting pestered by spirit. It could be that your soul signed up for this experience and now your frequency is a vibrational match for this experience. Okay. Okay. Uh, the third uh, reason is um, there's a purpose and a reason why energy is trying to contact and communicate with you. Okay. So there's a, there's a purpose, there's a reason why energy is, um, and, and this isn't even that spirit or energy is trying to pester you. It's just trying to contact you and communicate with you. So we might be like, I'm getting totally harassed by this ghost in my house. Well, it's just trying to get through to communicate with you. And there's um, there's two reasons why my guardian angel is telling me. One reason is that um, the spirit or the energy has uh, important information that it would like to relay to you. And it would like to open the dialogue. Um, and part of that is that your soul signed up for that experience on earth to channel energy. So if you're, if you know you're an open, you know you can communicate with spirit, but you shut it down and now you're being pestered by energy. Uh, this is energy telling you, come on, it's time. Let's go. Or you're newly awakening. Now you're awakening and you're uh you're asking questions you're curious you're noticing uh and what happens when you're curious and you're asking questions energy notices you right it's like if you're gonna watch a program about gray aliens don't be surprised if they notice you back right so if you're watching a paranormal program or a, a, a television program about certain things that is usually on our televisions, super low vibrational and so, <laughs> uh, so in my opinion, from what I watch, from what I'm watching versus my own personal experience and also hearing energy chatting with me while I'm watching these programs. These programs are so ill misinformed 
they just go off on these tangents of people's egos talking about why these aliens are here and and the you know they're here for this and that and i'm like i don't get i don't resonate with any of that but again, this is my vibrational frequency and this is my experience. What a shocker. I am the manifester of my reality. So if you're sitting there and you're buying into this low vibrational jargon and all you're thinking is like low vibrational jargon, not surprised if you're having low vibrational energy around you uh, in the physical and non-physical. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, um, so there's two reasons. One, the energy is, is seeing you there and would like to converse with you. And the second reason is, um, <clears throat> you're opening, you're cracking open and it's time for you to communicate with energy. So one is the energy wants to communicate with you. And the second reason is that you are opening and you are ready to communicate with the energy around you. It doesn't mean that you're being haunted and pestered. It means that it's time to use your medium abilities and learn how to communicate with them. You, or you may already know how to communicate with them, but you're just trying to shut it down, shut it off. You can't shut it down or shut it off. Um, is going to happen. Now, I do have my open and closed hours, and they better not pester me during my closed hours. Um, and if I'm not available or I don't feel like chatting, I'm not available, I don't feel like chatting. There are boundaries to be set, so that's important for everybody to know too. So there's several reasons why one is being pestered or haunted. Now, let's talk about, um, okay, you wanna say something else there? She's saying it's really important that each of us hears the message, the underlying tone of this broadcast, which is you are the manifester. You are the creator of your realities. Your vibrational frequency impacts and affects your experiences, not only here on earth, but elsewhere. And the third thing she wants us to hear is that help is always here. However, if your soul signed up to learn from this experience, um, you will continue learning from this experience. But you can shift this experience. You can make things easier. You can make things better. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had individuals come to me for readings and uh, several, they're so hooked on a substance or substances, whether it's cocaine, marijuana, alcohol, whatever it is, okay, and nothing's worked. They don't want to listen to anybody. They just want to run themselves into the ground. They're just having a good time. They're not listening to spirit. They're not listening to nobody. So what happens when you don't listen and you continue to do these substances of choice and now you're on the path of awakening? Maybe you have a bigger purpose or a mission to help other people, but you keep intaking substances. Um, I get it shown to me like this. So we are sheltered, if you want to say it like that, or protected, or um, it's called really, they show it to me as a visual of the hand of God. Um, so God just takes the hand off for a bit and allows other low vibrational frequency to pester the heck out of you until you stop doing the substances. And I've seen that several times. So that's also, um, you know, tied in with your vibrational frequency. And um, also, it, it leads down a direction of the person becoming a medium or a healer or having a bigger purpose in helping humanity. It's very important that they lift and raise their frequency and that their bodies are, um, you know, you're eating nutritional food, 
that you are lifting your frequency through your vessel and part of that is the removal of substances so spirit uh is allowed to come and pester you for a time uh until you remove these things from your frequent from your energy from your body and i've seen that several times during readings um and then as soon as they are in the clear which takes weeks <laughs> And uh, then the energy steps back. Uh, and this isn't just deceased loved ones pestering them. I've seen uh, many different energies pestering them. Um, lower vibrational frequency. And I've also seen uh, aliens or ET energy allowed to pester them. They're allowed to be there. Okay. So it's not like, oh, woe is me. Why is this happening to me? No, everybody knows this is happening. Everybody knows. Your team knows. Source knows. Everybody knows. Now we delve into what can I do to no longer be a vibrational match for it? What am I learning from this? And what can I do about it? Okay. Any other messages that we'd like to relay before we move to questions? She's so not big about diving into this because it drops the frequency. She wants us to keep our frequency high. Um, but again, like she said, we are we we get to decide. We are we are in control. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So, is there any other questions that you want to ask on that, Ozan? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice. Don't you love that, Barbara? So that is one thing you can ask. And, uh, and you can say, hey, Archangel Michael, can you take care of this? Or you can just say, Archangel Michael, come move into my home. Thank you. Um, if I ask Archangel Michael to move into my home, but I still have energy coming in and bugging me, okay? Like sometimes Eric from Channeling Eric will come in and flick things or he's like... <laughs> just being a little brat he's trying to get my attention for something why is he here and why is he trying to get my attention what does he want me to know but as soon as I'm hearing what he has to say okay and it's really important then he's gone he's not hanging out here so it's not that every energy is here to you know harass the heck out of us there's a reason and a purpose why it's here what do they want us to know Mm -hmm. And you have to think over the years ahead, okay, what's going to happen as the frequency here on earth starts to lift and raise, our chakras are opening. Now we're sensing and feeling energy around us even more so. The veil is going to thin. Guess who's going to be feeling that? A lot of sensitive souls on the planet. So it's really important to get to the bottom as to um, if it's really bothering you, if you've tried asking, if you have shifted your frequency and you are as high a vibrational as possible. I'm going to give you guys another example. Um, I had a lady come to me. She was really addicted to cocaine. She um, was told during the reading that you are being pestered because of the substance of choice that you are continuously using and your frequency is low and it's time to shift and move into a higher vibration more more so start moving in this direction right and she had a difficult upbringing and her mind was really locked there and she was coping by using the drugs the alcohol and the cocaine to um, help cope right numb to help detach so she heard the guidance. She stopped the cocaine. She stopped the alcohol. It's probably about a month, month and a half goes by. And she sends me a picture with a bruise on her ankle. And I think up her leg. And it was, it was pretty big. And she said, that happened in the middle of the night. I said, what is it that you are doing? What is it? Have you done? What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> What are you doing? 
that is dropping your frequency to be a match for that. Well, I touched cocaine last night. So I said, she goes, but it was just a couple lines. It doesn't matter. Don't touch that shit. Okay. So she got the memo again. So you have to think like, I learned physically. Okay, you touch alcohol, you touch these things, now it's going to affect you physically. You're going to get sick, Kristen, so don't touch it. Other people are learning vibrationally, energetically, and she learned, don't even look at it. Don't, don't look at it, don't touch it. So she learned from that. Um, and, you know, it was pretty immediate response, I'd say. Mm -hmm. It really does. Every experience has an opportun opportunity for growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and teach. This is about teaching you your power. If you think you're a victim all the time and you come from through that lens, that is what you're blasting out there. Your thought forms are energy, okay? You're sending that signal out and everything rearranges to be a vibrational match to your frequency. So does anybody have any questions that they want to ask um, in this last 20 minutes uh, before I must be heading off in regards to this topic? Anything you want to ask? So I'm leaving the floor open for you. Yes. My guardian angel says that um, she's okay with this topic being presented to give a broader perspective in order to help the masses but it must be presented in a way in order to teach the masses uh, uh, about your own power your energy when you drop your frequency, when you're around low vibrational people, when you're around low vibrational experiences, when you're watching low vibrational content, when you are doing things that are detrimental to your vessel on a regular basis. And she says that um, for some of us, it impacts us immediately, similar or like myself, where my vessel feels it because I'm very open and sensitive. Whereas others can say smoke marijuana for years <coughs> and get away with it. But nonetheless, it clouds one's uh, energy, okay? It clouds your energy. And it has you coming through and seeing the world through this lens, this perspective. So um, what the angels would like to do is to clear that up for you, if you so wish, if you so choose. You simply just have to ask. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, what a great question. What causes a soul to stay earthbound? And does this happen often? Okay. <clears throat> I can tell you from my own personal experience, I've only seen two souls earthbound in my own personal experience. So would I say that I've seen a whole lot of earthbound souls? No. And that's only because I used to have a cleaning company and I was going in and out of many people's homes, many apartment buildings, many uh, businesses, new construction, vacation rentals. So out of all that, I've seen two, two, not many. What causes a soul to be earthbound? Um, uh, it's almost like stuck in a loop of continuing to live, not realizing that they have crossed over. That's one reason. Second reason is they get very lost and confused as to where they are. Um, and they're not sure what's going on. So, and I have seen that personally, like completely just not 
sure about what's going on at all. Like to the furthest extreme. Rocking. Just not sure what's going on. Okay. Like lost. Um, and um, and um, she's talking about them reaching out for help. Okay. So that did happen to me. This really lost soul. He uh, He basically like moaned or tried to yell at me about three feet from the left side of my head. So it, picture someone like doing that right at me. And I knew it wasn't coming from a human vocal box. It was like, time to bring in some backup. <laughs> but he crossed over really fast. Um, I, I can tell you another experience I had. Um, when they have a rigid belief system that say they're very religious and they believe that maybe they did some a few small things in their lives that they are like where am I going to go when I cross over is it going to be good or not good so they'd rather just stay in their home rather than face that belief system of where they're going to potentially go okay um, but I've only seen souls go into the light and I've only seen souls that are having a wonderful experience over on the other side. I've only experienced that. That's the only thing I've ever seen. But if you as a soul, as a person believe that, then you could potentially create that experience for yourself as the manifester that you are. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but again, you know better. Um, okay, so any other reasons? Um, attached to family, attached to belongings, attached to homes, attached to the land, <laughs> attached to other souls that are earthbound. <laughs> She's really listing it out, isn't she? So you might notice, well, my beloved one isn't crossing over, so I'm going to stay with her. I'm not crossing over either. Oh, that's too too cute. <clears throat> How she listed that out. Mm -hmm. um, is it something that happens uh, often? Uh, the angels are saying uh, it's happening um, far more than what the angels would like to see. <laughs> but that's the beautiful thing about this path of ascension on earth and the lifting of the frequency is that um, they won't be able to continue in their, their, um, belief systems that are no longer serving them and also creating this reality for themselves. So I'll give you an example. I'm hiking around a lake and the Native Americans are there, but they're not really talking to me. They're just eyeing me up, but they're, they're just going about as if they've never crossed over. They're not in a physical body anymore, but they're like going through the woods and they're just going about their time on the other side. So <clears throat> they, they're they not even aware that they've crossed over. So at some point as the veil thins, as we all start to lift in frequency, as the planet's going, the planet's going, we're all going. Either you're gonna come back and incarnate here and continue on with the planet or you're going to go somewhere else and incarnate somewhere else or not incarnate at all whatever your soul chooses but these souls are going to have a hard time continuing to play out in their bubble storyline okay it's going to be like oh who's that light who's that person coming down the path when they see me then they notice me <laughs> yeah at first i thought Maybe they don't understand my language, but then I'm like, no, it's telepathic. They understand. Everybody understands when I'm talking to them. Everybody understands. And then I'm like, oh, they're just kind of giving me the stink eye. <laughs> and then Archangel Michael had to take care of it. So, again, a beautiful thing, having Big Mike by your side. And he did. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. so why would uh one sign up to channel spirit is it just to help themselves or is it to also help others or a combination of both and fernanda's asking for herself first you and then when you're comfortable channeling spirit 
then it's branching out and stepping off with helping others that are guided to you. Okay? So if you were on a real if you were on a television program like the Long Island Medium, uh, then you would probably go up to a whole bunch of people if you wanted to, but there's other mediums that don't want to do that. Uh, but it's definitely people that are guided to you that you will help. Okay. All right. You're welcome. That's a great question that I have never asked Barbara. Okay. Um, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have limited time. So anything that's super long and intense, I'm probably going to move along if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oof. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about your job being pestering. Okay. And are you still at your job because it's part of your soul's mission? Or are you at your job because um, you weren't courageous enough to leave yet? Let's see. I can, I can tell that you're from a different uh, neck of the woods on earth, Ozan. Um, your guardian angel, um, it's, it's not, I'm not feeling like your background is from somewhere else. Obviously I can tell with your name too, but I can tell from the frequency from your guardian angel. Uh, let's see here. Male guardian angel coming in. Anything that is no longer a vibrational match to your frequency must go. You can drag your feet. You can buck the current but you cannot change what is to come. This position, this job is a means to an end. So when they do this and they say a means to an end, what that means to me is you're there for the financial means, the money, the abundance, but it's not going to last forever because you are shifting vibrationally and this position, this workplace, this environment is no longer a vibrational match to your frequency. So this this cannot stick around forever. If you would like assistance in creating and stepping off onto another path that is more of a vibrational match to your frequency, we will help to co-create and manifest this into your reality, dear one. Thank you. Awesome. And I think he needs the courage to let go of this position as well, is what my understanding of what you want. Okay. That might be something else you ask for. And get real detailed about what it is that you want and write it down on a piece of paper so they can read it. The more direct and specific you are, the better. All right, we're moving. We have just a few minutes left. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like Gettysburg, I wouldn't go there. Haunted Asylum, I wouldn't go there. Haunted Hospital, wouldn't go there, okay? Uh, I can't even live in my city where the first settlers inhabited for like hundreds of years. I can't live there because uh, the the layer, the layers of frequency that have settled there, that are imprinted there from the previous people, I can't live in that frequency. It's not like I'm sitting there like, oh no, it's just, um, it's a subtle heaviness that wears on me after months and years. And I, it's, it's not like I'm getting pestered there or any of that. It's just that frequency is not a match to my frequency. So where do I live? I live in a part of the city that used to be orchards and it had cattle and it was farms. 
that's where I live, which is obviously no more uh, orchards or farms. But that frequency is a good frequency for me to live in. It's not weighing me down and, and chiseling away at my energy over months to be here. And um, the other thing I notice about where I live is there's a lot of elemental energy and it's very playful and really light filled and high vibrational and wonderful. And that again is a vibrational match to my energy. <clears throat> You're welcome. That's right. Especially a haunted ship. And maybe it's a cruise you're going on and you get this gut feeling. <laughs> and then, but you don't listen. <laughs> Hopefully the ship is docked. And you can get off the ship if you need to. But I, I'm not going to walk in. Why would I do that? I don't need that experience, right? People that are curious, that are starting to awaken, that are more in the three-dimensional experience realm, sure, they think it's fun. I'm not sitting there thinking it's fun. I'm thinking, well, either I'm going to be here to help uh, souls cross over or shift this energy. Um, maybe somebody's hired me to do this. Um, but again, I would have to have a yes from my team to do it. Otherwise, I certainly wouldn't be there. And then, of course, uh, otherwise, why would I do that to myself? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. No. No, I'm good. I, 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 I like my crystals. <laughs> I like to feel good. <laughs> I like to frolic in the park and enjoy the grass and ground under the trees. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. 100% Ava. There's no question. 100%. But mental note this. Um, the more grounded you get, the more high vibrational you shift, the, the more... Um, you know, obviously you are communicating with your team and expressing what you want and you're setting up boundaries and you've called in Big Mike. I don't sit here and I'm not like sitting here concerned. Um, but just like I'll walk into a grocery store and there'll be this person's guardian angel is a massive behind them and they're, and they just make me a little lightheaded and they want me to converse with the person. Okay, yeah, they're in my head. They're, they're definitely influencing me, but it doesn't mean I'm going to just, hey, I have a message from your guardian angel if I don't feel comfortable, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so uh, grounding, shifting your frequency higher, and setting boundaries. Like, do you let people just walk all over you? Do you let people influence your thoughts? Do you let people run you down all the time? If not, then you're probably not going to let energy do the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so euphoric. Oh, so euphoric. Yes. Angel's energy is euphoric and wonderful, blissful, it, like beyond words. <clears throat> All right, everyone. I hope this is giving you a broader perspective. And as my guardian angel, Agnes, has said, helped you see things from a different perspective. Okay. And help you uh, take ownership of your vibrational frequency and move in a direction where it's really important that if you know um you make note of how your words impact and affect others is it going to tank their frequency or lift them up pick one pick one because there's a lot of people reading online and I think it's really important to keep things as high vibrational as possible not only within yourself and your own thought forms but with others Make note that um, we will see you live here in the group Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Can't wait. Okay, you guys. Bye.